Base to capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. Last thing, helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right, the mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. Looks like a lift. Where's all this coming from? They must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Better not have broken anything. Hmm. It's darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila. Instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. Okay. Done. We have power.
How big is this place? Big. It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Uh, how much air does this suit have again? Enough. Look, if you get stuck... Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the Pentelnecks put it through more stress than you ever will. Okay, um... Is that another door? Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Have a look over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oxygen stick. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In-suit oxygen resupply. You have no idea how much of a headache those things were to get working. these flippers. Nope. Not on these flippers. <sighs> Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Jobs are good on. Head on through to the garage. Big in here. Wait, are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan. It's lovely. Clouds and little birds. Soothing. <laughs> Very funny. And there she is, the moon. Pride of Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk. But good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kid. Now you're a fully qualified unit trench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. I was kind of 
kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. There she is. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now. I should get back to the task at hand. Ballistic if I don't focus on the objective. That must be the life module. <laughs> Looks like a lighthouse. Yeah, on the bottom of the ocean floor. Quite the view. See the docking bay there? Moon will fit snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there, it's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. Docking complete. Heading inside. Roger that. I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. Does, um... Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level 3 worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but it'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrend's employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. 
I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. This looks like the storage room. All right. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these. Well, should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. <laughs> Last guy must have left it behind. <laughs> Crafting table. Had a whole training module on this thing. Raw material going. Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day's your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. I should probably check in with Emma. Hospitable. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this will do nicely. Weather off the coast continues to be unseasonally calm. Great news for the local sailing regatta set to start tomorrow morning. Guess this thing's my only company down here. Not having Emma around is. It's gonna take some time getting used to. Ah. <sighs> Damn thing's frozen shut. That could be an issue. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I can make this work. Oh. Hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. <sighs> hmm, uh, a little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't. Uh, what we said before I left. You you said you needed space, right? And I needed space. So so yeah, this is space. Uh, just the, Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, I, it's the number I gave you. He said the the line should be fixed by now. But yeah, it's you know Trent. So. Who knows? I miss us. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should. You should get to bed. Day tomorrow, let's get some shut eye.
What? Where am I? I was... What is this? This isn't right. This isn't... Not here. Stay down here in bad dreams already. <sighs> Thank you very much for that, Tim. Guess I'm responsible for you guys now. if this thing has any games. Good morning, Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of March. I hope you have a productive day. Is there any coffee on this wreck? Checking. Yes, 10 kilograms of happy morning instant coffee remaining. Great. conglomerate thing doesn't work out, Unitrench has a bright future in mattresses. Only the best for our chosen few. Now, ready to start the day? Raring. Right then. Head on over to the job board to your right there. We'll post up the daily tasks each morning. Simple as that. Simple as that. See you out there. All right. 
who seems easy enough, relatively speaking. Hello, user Stanley Moray. Sona could help. Ugh, horrible stuff. True, but it does produce a huge amount of O2. You never know, it might come in handy. <laughs> Surprisingly spongy. What's with this stuff? I thought it preferred warmer waters. You? He's quite the celebrity around these parts. Reckon he lost the rest of his pod a while back, poor bugger. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. Ah, this job definitely has its perks. Mission accomplished. After that, the job will. Now you have to. Dead. All right. This bodes well. 